All right. So for those who join now, I'm repeating. Today, I want all teachers to create a Firefly page. When you go to your dashboard, under resources, you will find our test school. Can somebody confirm if you guys can see the dream school? A few of you in your dashboard. Sammy says yes. Some more, please. Scully says yes. Mr. Java says yes. Mr. James, yes. Good. Okay, somebody can see only Dream School. Yeah, that's how it should be at, at this point because we'll work on the Dream School. We, we will give you the right to edit Dream School only. The others are the actual schools. This is just for practical purposes, of course. Good, good. Many of you can see. So under Dream School, you will go, sorry. Ah, Mr. Lutfullah made a good job here. Thank you, Mr. Lutfullah. Okay, that's better. Uh, already he created the international school branches. So, for example, if you are from girls, you will go to your school, if from kindergarten to this one, from primary, from Mombasa, or from Nairobi. Let me go to Nairobi. When you come here, what you will do is creating subject pages. Okay. Um, how do we do that? Let me do one. I just click this create. You should have that authority now. Now, I want you to give the title this way, your subject, my subject is physics, and initial of your first name, R, dot, your last name. Your it is like in your email addresses, in your school email addresses. For example, I'm seeing here with Mr. Godfrey Kasaya. So it is G dot Kasaya, something like this. Mr. Lutfullah L dot Don, all capital. You can select any template that you want. You can free of experimenting. Then uh, you will say, let me use this one again. Done. This is my page in two columns. Okay, my subject and my initial and my last name. Then I'm going to put content here, relevant with my subject. I want to do it about moment, moment, moment of a force. I'm taking these information. I mean, copy, paste. There will be some unnecessary figures. Yes, there are some graphics there I need to take. You have two ways. Either you can take a screenshot in some occasions or right click, copy the image. Okay, come here and paste it okay if your screen changed this way no worries when you publish it it will look okay then i have something more <clears throat> i'm taking those things copy Control c <clears throat> and paste it here then i check oops There is a title, okay, control C and control V. So this is a title, just highlight it, go here, formatting, it's a subtitle to make it bold. Um, I have some images. Now there's two images next to each other. I don't want to take it separately. I want to take it together at once. So what I can do, I can use my snip sketch tool. Go there. 
take this. Uh, don't take this unnecessary text. My image is here, copy, then come here and paste it. Okay. Then let's say I'm complete, uh, but there is, okay, I use two photos. Uh, I can put some further text. Let me take this, control C, sorry. Control V, that is okay. Now I want to put one video. There's a Vimeo video here. It shouldn't be always YouTube video. You can use a Vimeo video too. In the share section, you can have this link, oops. Actually, I can just right click, copy link address, copy this. Come here. In the more section, you will see that it's uh, not only YouTube, there is Vimeo option as well, which is good. You can give all autoplay and loop, but it's not necessary for this case. Uh, Madame Lois is asking, she can't hear anything. Tyson, are you there? Can you assist her? Okay, my video should be here now. Play, publish. It seems Vimeo videos are not working as smooth as YouTube videos. But basically, this is my page now. I have a title here, my subject, my name in a short form, some text, some images, and a video. Do you see that something is not right there? Then you can edit the page. Go here, when you come on and click on the object, there is settings button here, you can see. You can click and make changes. So let me go to Vimeo this time. It's something like YouTube. Moment of force. Okay, it's not as educative as YouTube. I'm going back to YouTube. For example, this video, <clears throat> I can take the URL. Yes, going there, deleting this, just the delete, and more YouTube, and done. Before I say done, come to these settings. So these visibilities are already available. Okay, we don't need to put the students at the moment here, that's, that's fine. Just say done, done, done. My page is ready. Mr. Lutfula, is there anything you'd like to add? There is quiz making here as well. Would you like to show that? Choose editing that uh -huh, I can show directly to page, right? Yes. Creating a mm -hmm. quiz within the page. Let's, let's the flash show that. Then we let our teachers to do their part. Uh, from form or from the Firefly? I think you should show the Firefly. Yeah, from Firefly. 
No, I didn't try that before. Ah, okay. Let me let me do it then. Okay, let's say this is my page and I want to create a quiz about this. Under this page, I want to create another one. If this page is selected, as you can see, I'm in this page, the page that I recently created. While this one is selected, if you click create, the new page will be created under this page. Okay, look at here, physics, our arc click. That's going to be my new page right under. So my title is, um, okay, quiz. And from the templates, I can select class test. Even if I don't select this, still I can add questions, but in this one, I think it's been easier. Say done, done. Oh, people already started creating pages. Okay, okay, good. But please see how we are doing the quizzes. All right, uh, a quick one. When you click more, oh, sorry, here, question. You can write the question. Question one. Which of the following is the unit of moment? That's my question. The question types, multiple choice text, uh, line or paragraph, true, false, file uploading. Um, so I can add my choices here. Um, meters per second. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Meters per second. Then I can add another one. Um, kg per meter square, maybe. Let me add another one. Uh, so it is Newton times meter, let's say, correct. So my question is ready. Uh, mark per correct answer, is it one mark or two marks or what? You can say one mark. Then done. My question is here. Following the same way, I can add another question. Question two, define the moment of a force. So this can be, if it is a very short answer, it can be a line or it can be a, a paragraph. And since this is a bit of a structured question, you can say this one is five marks. Done. This can be used for um, essay type questions. Student can put a lot of text here. Another one, true false yesterday I tried, but it's not really working the way we want it. Let me try again. Uh, is Monon a scholar or vector or a vector quantity Oops. or moment is a, yeah, this is not a true false question. Moment is a scalar quantity. Is this true or false, physics teachers? What are the responses? No physics teachers today? Somebody is asking how to log in Firefly. Uh, okay, we'll show that as well. Moment is the correct answer is false. Anything else? You can put an explanation here after student uh, do the selection, that explanation comes up, say done. So you can publish. So the test is here, students can see this test and start doing it. 
let's say this one, let's make it wrong. Before turning effect. Now here, this thing is uh, again, not working. There should be true and false responses, but we'll ask this, what's wrong there, I don't know. Then I can submit this, just like this. As you can see here, when you create this, copy page to task description, you can copy this task, this um, quiz into your task. You can give it as a task. Click this. And this quiz, just, it comes here into your task definition. Very simple. Then you can assign it to any class that you want. A response of every student you will see in your tasks section separately. Cancel this. Sure, I think that uh, true and false, that one. If you put, click, if you click on that button, is accepting as a true. Mm -hmm. If you leave it blank, I think that is mm. false. Something like that maybe because of you get a super uh, zero. Maybe it is this way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe there will not be true or false options there. That's, tick that, means that's, mm -hmm, true. That's strange. All right. Basically, that is the summary. Can we copy paste a screenshot in the quiz section or it should be a text? You can actually, because this is a page, you know? This is a, just a question. Let me see. Now I'm in the edit mode. As you can see in between the questions, you can, um, let me go there. Let's say this is the shape I'm gonna use in the question. Uh, I can copy the image or I can get a screenshot again. Same thing. Come and paste it here. Oops. Didn't come. Let me try from the image. Yeah, it should be there. Let me say done. Will it appear? Sometimes that in the end of the page. Where is it? Interesting. Normally it allows, but uh, I don't know why it's not doing it now. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Copy paste. Sometimes it takes time a little bit. But yes, you can add image. But it, 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 it may give some issues at some points. All right. So uh, teachers already started creating. Uh, those who are having challenges, you can write from the chat. Uh, at some point, we'll ask some teachers to share their screens. So you improve your sh screen sharing skills as well. Uh, and we'd like to see your pages. Mr. Tula, is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, maybe we can work on the how can we design some options, maybe I can show them. Okay. Maybe. But the problem is I can't see the chat button right now. Is there something in the chat? My chat is empty. It is there. But I can see only I put one dot. So this is my screen I can you can see. Oh, oh. So let me create this to one maybe Malindi. I like Malindi three. Let us plain and say it's science. Let us make blank. So as Mr. Amazon said, we have uh, so many options here. Image file I cannot hear. For example, let me ask uh, one question maybe. Uh, select or I said it. 
Yes or no? We can add as an answer. We can uh, make it like a multiple choice here. I added, for example, one. Select one of these. So uh, when I come on this, if I click one time here, there's a setting button on the right side. We can edit if I want to add question or uh, change my question, something like that. Uh, when I click once, there's a one styles here. If I don't click on this, there's formatting here, as you can see, formatting. But if I click once, I can a little bit touch the maybe styles. Let me make it cut here. You see the way how it looks. Let's change it here. Maybe if I click one more time from the styles, I can arrange maybe right or left, maybe something like that. If I click one more time, let me put it here. right. I can arrange this way my page. There are so many nice things here. For example, the Manila, I can change the style. Maybe you can highlight this kind of. Uh, Good, for example, like a sticky note here, I can change my things. This is mostly for every option which is here. I can change it uh, as a style. For example, let me make it the left side. Or let me put it in the middle. I don't know. If uh, we can say we can add some files here, let me uh, add calculator maybe. No, this is calendar, not calculator. Let me run the comments here. Compact. Let me add this one. Done. Mm -hmm. Still, we have a styles here. Let me make it line paper here. You see there's some good things here. I can make it. So, and I wanted to show this, the ones on click that, there's a setting button here. I wanted to show them. The second one is some effects here. Still when we click on that, we can give very nice, like uh, some frames. We can change the styles, that is good. Uh, not this one, we can link it. So. Is a good option, I think. Uh, that maybe indeed we can show them. So one more time. So when you go to your documents, which is in the your drive, for example, you have a Google Sheet, you have a uh, maybe Google Documents or Google Form. For example, this one. All of them the uh, works the same way. For example, this one. Let me open this Google form here. There's a one simple uh, quiz or something here. When we say the send button here, this is for all kind of documents. For example, this one, still that uh, share or send option will appear here. All of them is the same on the right side. Uh, all Google documents, it will appear on the right, uh, top right. I can say. So when you go here, there's a sharing op option here. This is, we said, email link here. This is indeed. Uh, this is a little bit uh, the professional things. Maybe I don't know. But just copy it and then come to your page site. And then to, from the more option, no, not more. So you see, there's a indeed here. Just adding by indeed, just paste it here. As you see. Just paste it so your form will come here. Uh, the good things when you're making that uh, the Firefly and your drive has a uh, connect uh, connecting each other. So that's permissions which in which is we are making from right here. You see there's some permission. You can see this. You can edit this. Those things is setting it automatically itself. That is uh, okay, so good. Mm -hmm. now, now let's give time for teachers to try. Uh, the Zoom is open. We're not going anywhere, please. Uh, as you have challenges, write to the chat and we try to help on these issues. I'll just, we'll just close the screen recording. I mean, uh, screen sharing. Uh, but I want everyone to try and real time we discuss about the challenges. Mr. Dusra, you can close the screen. Mm -hmm. 
The chat uh, settings, I think. Available, I, I, I opened it. But they are writing private to me. They can write to everyone, uh, teachers. There was that setting. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. The things are going so fast, it's hard to catch. <laughs> so can we make a kind of competition maybe between the, our branches? <laughs> Mm, no, not the competition. <laughs> uh, which teachers? It's rough learning. Mm. All right. Also, I'm checking from here. Momo says, good. Uh -huh, there's someone ask, where is the uh, icon for quiz? Let us show one more time. And also uh, show how to add the image again. There are uh -huh. some questions regarding to that. Where was my... Three my was in where was it and goes. Not that place yet. Someone is also asking how to resize an image. Mm -hmm. Please show that too, holding from the corner. So this is page just I'm coming on the corner and then I'm saying edit page. So for example, there's a two button uh, for teachers you can use here. The first one is edit page for making some changes in this page adding some uh, tags or something. The other one is creating uh, a page under your subject maybe. So when we say edit page, uh, what was, uh, uh, so that quiz uh, button is from here. We have to say create, we have to open one quiz uh, template. For example, when we say more templates, so uh, where is it, class test. This is the quiz. So when I click this one, so, uh, Say done, give it name, for example, sample quiz. Sample quiz, that's okay. From here, the location button, make sure is under your subject. So I can drag and you know, I can change for if I say literature, it will come to here. It should be under the my subject. So this is, uh, you need to be careful about that. When I say done, so the blank, uh, quiz page is appears here. I didn't publish it. You can see here. So now the question button will come automatically from the uh, edit side. When I say publish, still I can reach from the edit page. But first of all, I have to arrange my uh, page as a quiz from the create button. I have to create one quiz page. Then I can see this option from here. I hope that's clear. Mr. Collins. Yeah, it seems uh, you should select uh, the class test option to mm -hmm. see ad adding uh, questions. So class test page, which is here. There's a two way to use that. The first one, we have to create our classes, which way uh, we, we want. Or one more option here. For example, I'm in this page. Uh, for example, I want to change this page as a quiz. I can play even uh, the ones we selected here. Not only this one, also we can change it from the again edit page on the left bottom, right bottom, sorry. Then we can say this arrow, which is here. We can go on this, there's one arrow here. Just go and then uh, select template. Template, so still we can change it from here. But this is, I think, blank one. Is not allowing me to go to quiz one but we can change the how it looks yeah like. you can't change a normal template to quiz you should create a, a quiz template quiz. Yeah. yes mr Lutfula, can you show in an incognito window uh for activation where they need to click some teachers are trying with their email and the password that's not the case huh? please All show right, from the login screen those Let me copy my this URL first yeah take that 
Let me go to my other one here. Yes, it. The yes. first of all, this uh, URL we need. The sum of teachers is connecting directly to Firefly uh, website. I don't know how they are reaching there, there but this, this is this is this is our domain, okay? LIS dot Firefly Cloud dot net, and everyone should enter from here. Not, for example, maybe there's a Firefly. I don't know. Let me check this one. When you enter this, all the same login pages appearing, I think, uh, but not this one. It should be. LIS Firefly. So again, let me share this from the chat to everyone. This is our link I shared from the chat button. So when you come here, now I'm the login page now. So if you are activating the first time here, you have to click on this. All right, you have to click on this yes, login. Look at this one very carefully, dear teachers. Uh -huh. If you're logging in first time, you should click that green area. Then you should yes. put your email address only. So here just you're yes. entering your school email, and which is LIS. Then you will, activate. Sorry, Mr. Nuzla. You oh. will receive an activation code you need to use immediately. If you did it a few days ago or yesterday, it may expire. I think it has an expiry time. Yes, the once you enter your email and then when you say uh, activate, so you will receive this kind of uh, message. So once you go to your email, let me go to my email, which is here, give it. So you will receive this kind of message here. The once you click activate here, so that time you will uh, set up your password. Then you can go again the login page here. Login page that time only. You will enter your email as a username here, and then uh, your password, which one you set up, set it up. Is that correct? Set it up. Then you can reach the, our pages. Passport. So there's a one more question. How can we publish our, uh, for example, for that I have to create a one simple page here. Let me say create uh, draft plane. For example, it can be quiz, it can be anything. Let me say, for example, this one came to under the sample quiz now. I didn't say that's okay. Without publishing it here, for example, some of you said save draft. So when we say save draft, now this is a draft now. I have to click on this and then I have to say again from the uh, right bottom, I have to say edit page. The once I edit page, again, I can work on this, still, I can say. Save a draft, I worked on it. So when I want to make a publish, that time again from the right bottom here, just say, uh, just re say edit page, come on that, then say publish here. The ones you publish, all your students can see your page. I hope that's clear. Yeah, I can take the questions. Let me check also. I think this is, let me go to international school doors. Let me check. Oh, it's good. They are working very well. Let me check in their garden. Physics, but they don't have kindergarten. They need to work. Nairobi. Cha, look at Nairobi. Who is this? Malinda created this. very little pages here, only one, two, three, four. I'm seeing. Mr. Gazi, are you around? 
This is primary. Also, primary is very nice. And one of them is just very random title is put there. This is not how we want it. Mr. Selim created a nice quiz. Very good. Mr. Selim, can you create a, an ICT page as well with content? In Malinda, there is a science page, but only a PDF, a PowerPoint here, no text. And the name is not there. Malinde science page. I don't know who created this page. No text, no video. Science can be my son. I'm not sure. Is that so? Let me check it. There is another one, Science Lutfullah. That is yours. The science. Oh, this is not mine. Still, they are making draft. They are adding some, they are working on the page, I think. But they yeah, should name at, at proper. The title should be proper. Mm -hmm. The name of the subject, uh, all capital, please. Hi, uh, the name of the subject and short form of your name. If we ask one question, why this creating a page is important? For example, this is my science. Yani I am in the year nine, maybe year ten or something. I have my lesson page. So when I create, maybe I can create the first lesson, second lesson, and you know, for each lesson, we should create a, a one page or every week, weekly, week one, week two. So every time you have to create pages when we are teaching, when we, during the school time, then you know, this is like a Google Classroom page, but we cannot extra extra for specific topics, specific subject, something like that. So when we create this blockage, which is down here, is really, really important. When you say that, you have to click and then select your uh, area where it's supposed to be under. So that is important. Question. Okay, Mr. Selim, noted. You can watch the recordings of yesterday's training. It's on YouTube and on Google Classroom. If you missed yesterday's session, and I'm sure you'll grasp it very quickly. I'm seeing nice pages being created. I, I see here business, Mr. Munge. Uh, a nice page with the images and videos. Well done. Thanks for that. And even a sample quiz is added. Very good. OICG. There is French page under development, but not a content yet. I'm in the girls' school at the moment. Mr. Wambo is asking how his pages. I'm I'm going page by page. I'll I'll reach there, Mr. Wambo. Geography under development. I see Miss Langat still under development. Literature, Wangwe, to Mrs. Wangwe, there is a presentation. Okay, nice, but we need some text. At least two images and a video, I think it's going on. All the best. Please use your names, this is an assignment on the title of the page. Okay, let me check kindergarten. Okay, kindergarten, <laughs> the, the page that we created here, we have biology. Uh, teacher Gichuki, is this Madame Gichuki from Karen? You're creating the, if that is the one, you're creating the page, the biology page on the wrong school, it's kindergarten. Now, I'm putting a challenge for you. You can carry that to your school. If you will remember, Mr. Lutfullah, slowly show how to carry a page from one section to other. One class from import other. and export? No, changing the location. Oh, changing the location, but under the... 
a specific school. Let me try. Can we change the location from one section to the other? Because this page is in the wrong section. The section, let us check it. Uh, and then we learn also. also. For example, now I came to my page. This is under the Data International School URC. I just uh, came to, uh, let me say, done from the editing page, which is down here. Just click here, edit page. Slowly, Mr. Lutana. Mm -hmm. From the uh, top right side, there is a one arrow here, as you can see. You see this arrow here. Just click on this, mm -hmm. come to uh, location, which is here. So you can locate your, oh, you can carry. Yes. For example, I am in the, under the Latin International School Girls. So let me go to Latin International School Kindergarten. For example, maybe under the physics. I cannot just here. When I say done, now I am in the Latin International School Kindergarten. So we can locate that way. So uh, someone asked, how can we create quiz one more time? They want to see. For example, I'm under the science here. This is my page, my subject. There's a one create button here. I'm just clicking on that from the location side. I'm arranging where I want this under the science, as you can see, for example, this one under the science. So uh, I'm saying done. Uh, so from the more templates here, I'm just coming to class test. Again, done, for example, from more templates here, just click on the more templates, then go to class test. You can also, there are so many options here. Progress check, we can add it here. So we can try one by one. We can test in our dream school before we made it. So when I say uh, class test here, I'm just saying done. And then uh, again, sample quiz, just give it the name, say done. So my quiz is here, as you can see under the science is here but it's not published yet. So what we should do, we have to add question from here, from the left, uh, top left here. Just click on the question. Uh, you can type your question. Uh, one question. We can select how we want it. We want multiple choice, text, paragraph, true or false, and then our file upload. Just select one of these, and then uh, you can set up your mark here. Maybe I can say five here. Then add choices here. Let me say choice one, two, three. Four, five here, let me see. Oh, this is, should be five. This is, should be six. For example, here, there's a one small uh, tick button here. Which one is correct? This one is correct, for example. I'm selecting this one. And then if, if I have a different uh, choices, I'm selecting that. I gave them my mark, then uh, if there's an explanation or something, feedback, we can add from here, then done. So my question is here. So this one, as you see, or we can resize it. This is okay. Also the mark is, is visible here. I said once you click on that, you can change the maybe uh, style. This is for example, nice. This is question one. So if I want to add another question here, I'm just clicking under it, then question again, again, multiple choice. This is two questions here. Just select how do you want it, for example, true or false, which one is correct, true or false, which one is correct, just select, and then give your mark here, let it be three mark here, then done so click on that select your style again 
equation two. So if they click on this, now this is false. So if they click, if we put a tick here, that means that is true. They will select that way. So if I want one more question here, this way, I'm adding from there. So uh, let me say publish here. That's all. Again, create more templates here. Select your location from here. Location is from here. The quiz type is here. Then you can give it name from here. And then you can start to adding questions to your quiz. I hope that is clear. Uh -huh. Okay, Mr. Luzwa, you can close the screen sharing. <coughs> yeah. There's one more question. Uh, let me check the pages. I want to give feedback, some common mistakes and the good things here as well. Uh, I'm seeing the art page. LAS Nairobi, Mr. Oketch. A nice, neat work here. That's good. Images, videos are there. The name is there. Everything is supposed to be. Thank you very much. Uh, I see biology, blood circulation, Mr. Odiembo, year eight, Mr. Collins. Very nice. That's a good one. Now, those who completed their page, now you guys can add a document into your page. Please also experiment that too from Google. At the end of your text, you can add a document. Mr. Wambua, that is good, but video is too small. You better use the, the other templates like two columns or a header up there. Uh, lower two columns will it will look more neat in my opinion but good work there is chemistry mr moses here but not yet it's under development i think so danish is asking what if we want to copy from pdf documents to our firefly page as i cannot copy the text from pdf it depends what kind of pdf you're using if you use PDF Exchange Editor, it has OCR function, which we can show this later. That's not our scope at the moment, but for most of the PDFs, they are selectable PDF. It can work, but we can show that separately. Somebody saying made a mistake with title. How can I change it? Very simple, right lower corner, there is edit button. When you click that edit button, you can change everything. The title is at the top of the page. When you change that, the title will change. How do I move the video in the page? Uh, it should be just a drag and drop. As far as I know, let me test myself. But it doesn't move that easily, I'm seeing. We'll search about that. But you can delete that and put the cursor somewhere else and insert that same video again. Mr. Bakari, economics, a nice, neat page here. Very good. That's a good job. Nice work. Another economics page, Mr. Vera. That's good, but the images are a bit disoriented. You can use the other templates. I mostly like that two column template, which will work better in my opinion. And uh, I think you're adding some uh, videos as well. So where you created two separate pages, by the way. Uh, if you want to put it under your other page, as we showed from location, you can change it. There is German here. Kado, Miss or Mister, I'm not sure, sorry. All right, all right, that's okay. But on the left-hand side, uh, El Ocado, 
there is a big space there. It will be good to fill that space, either text or image, or maybe you can carry the video that side. Are we supposed to publish or save as draft? It's up to you. You can save as a draft. I, I can still see the drafts. Or you can just publish. Here is completely our test area. Once we are done, we are going to delete these things. So you can just play around with it. You can publish, no worries. Global perspective, Mr. Kasaya. Mm, very nice design here, Mr. Kasaya. It looks good. Thank you for that. Another one, I think this is Mr. Musindi Shwachi. Good, still the work is going on, I think. On the right hand side, we have some space. We need to fill it with some information, maybe. Those who finish their pages, you can add a document if you want, Google Docs, try other tools, or you try to create a quiz under your page that you created. Create a quiz template and try to create a quiz there. Please play with it and try to be familiar. Mr. Lutfullah, Mr. Daniel is saying, Daniel Kimilu, he wants to create a quiz, but he's stuck. Can you please assist him in the private messages? Mr. Lutfullah, you're there, right? Yes, I'm here, but I can answer the question, I think. Uh, That's written to me, but Mr. Daniel, can you write to Mr. Lutfula, please? Yeah. He will write to you now. You guide him. All right. You can send some screenshots. Don't share the screen, just do it privately. Okay, history, Mr. Ombati. A document, I think, is this a PDF document? No, this is a web page. You inserted a web page. Yeah, there is this functionality as well. So you tried it. Okay, looks good. You can insert a web page with a preview window on your within your page. Uh, not recommended for every cases, but if the page is a stable one, which will, the link will not change by time, yes, you can do that. Uh, Super Super LAS Primer. I haven't reached there yet. I'm coming. I'll check. There's a video here. That's good. History, Mr. JM or Mrs. JM. Maybe in the titles you guys can uh, put Mr. or Mrs. So I don't confuse uh, at some point. I don't want to make a mistake here. Okay, history, Light International School, Nairobi. That's a good work. It's, it's looking really nice, really nice. As you guys can see, that is the power of this tool. Uh, within minutes, so long as you have your materials, you can create really nice looking pages. Uh, by time, think yourself, you're developing this pages. It will be a, a very, very, a useful resource by time. Mr. Quay created another page under History JM. Introduction, organization, nice titles, nice colors there. Good. Ah, very good, Mr. Quay, good job. It looks very professional indeed. There's a class test being created under Mr. Quay's page, that's good. Historic quiz, there's another quiz, good. IT page, Mr. Nderitu. Yeah, this is an IT guy. That's a nice page, very good, well done. Very good. Uh, there is another one, Mr. Muya just put his email address as the title of the page, K Muya or Kumia, I'm not very sure. Mr. Benson Juma, I'm coming there, I'm coming there. There is life skills page, Mr. Latif, you need to 
add more content, please. Maybe I share my screen by the way. Uh, so there are good examples here. That's why I want people to see it. You continue working on your page, but uh, once in a while you can look at my screen share. Literacy, I think under development, continue please. Management by objectives. Which subject? This one, business, I think. But it's going on. In view, those pages are blank. Please put some content. The same page is created several times and no names. So I don't know who's doing it. Okay, now something is there, but those pages created several times. Please delete those repeating ones. You can do that and also see how to delete a page. Mathematics. Uh, when you have a PDF, it's, it wants to download it. Okay. Mathematics. Somebody developed mathematics page. A nice one. Um, Mr. Macarius, is that you? For the management. Please put some content or delete the other pages. There's a nice mathematics page here. Good, and some subtopics underneath. Uh, well done. We see Mr. Kochak's page. Factorizing, nice content. We need two images, Mr. Javad here, if you can find. A quiz also created, that's good too. Thank you, it's look, looking nice. Mr. Bashir, mathematics, nice, good. Some tables, some images, some videos. Well done. Another one. I think this is Madame Agnes. Good, good job. Nice, well organized. We have P here, but content is not there. Put some content, please. Another P, but the name is missing. Try to use two column, mostly it works well. But in some situations, of course, the other templates are usable, but I like two columns, which will be neat. P, some content here, nice. Physics, Mr. Collins, Atieno. Nice, very good. That's a good one. So as you can see, once you complete your live, lesson on zoom so you will have your recording you will have your presentation you will have your lesson notes so where are you going to publish these things this is what we are practicing here you will create this page put the recording there it's, it's not need to be a youtube video even if it is in your google drive you will take the link and put it here or you don't need to take them just say you will add a google doc or even the link you can put it there or there is a media player there Maybe we should show this. Uh, Mr. Lutfullah, uh, one of our teachers from LAS Girls, can't find a create in his, her page. Maybe she's not in the list. Can you please check? Madam, if you can share your full name. I don't understand. H.P. something like that. I don't know what that means. If you can know your names, please use your names in the chat so we can know who is, is this. Let's continue. A Google form, nice. Submit. All right, but I, I want some text here. Uh, which subject is waves? I think physics. Ah, sorry, this is under other. Okay, that's fine. Yes, this is Mr. Otiano, that's okay. Mr. Jugia, okay, we need a video here. Okay, it is there. As I said, two columns could be better. Mr. Jugia, you can try changing the template. Let's see how it works. That will be another practice for you. Let me see, Madame Veronica. Okay, nice psychology page here. The video can be a little bit bigger, Madame Veronica. You can push 
pull from the corner, make it make its width uh, as much as the column's width would be better, but it looks good. Thank you. All right. Who is the Prissy? Okay. So many pages. You guys became so creative today. That's great. Sports here. Is this Madame Pinina, I think? Okay, nice, nice things. Very good. We have Turkish page. Very good. Nice, very nice looking page. That's good. I, uh, I'm not sure who the teacher is, but it's looking good. Biology quiz. Okay, that biology quiz, please, uh, whoever created this biology quiz, carry it under biology page. So practice how to carry a page. Uh, it's not in the right place. And that is k.muya. I don't know which subject this is. There is another one. Please delete one. Write the subject. Okay. After Nairobi, now I'm going international school primary. Wow, we have a lot of pages here. Well done, guys. Biology. Mr. Ungaya. Nice. Good work. This image is too big. It can be smaller. And again, you can use two columns templates. So you can try changing the template. That will be another practice for you. Please try that. That is as good. Chemistry, I think, still working. History, Kerubo, Mr. K or Mrs. Kerubo. Uh, all right. We have two columns, but on this side we don't have much text. It will be good to have two columns balanced. And this video and this picture is aligned. It will look much better. And these two images are same, I think. Yeah, this is a slider, but there is only one image. You can add some more image to make sliders. Try playing with um, carousel or image sliders options there. So you can add several images into one window and uh, students can slide it instead of putting several pictures. That's another option. Please practice, experiment, do these things. Don't say just you finished your page and everything is okay. That is maybe your only chance to play freely like this. Uh, later on, when we open these things to all students, parents, things will be serious. Whatever you publish will be seen there. So uh, the room for error will be minimal. So here, you're free to make mistakes. So make mistakes and learn. That's the best way of learning. Kiswahili, Ms. Osiru. I think you're putting some more content. We have only one text here. And so, sir, you're in the wrong school, by the way. That's uh, primaries are Lovington branch. You should be in Nairobi branch. Miss uh, Wafula here. Okay, nice try. Um, Suleiman, are you in the session? If you can hear me, the message you send me, we'll discuss this after the session. Okay, this page should be a little bit more neat, well organized. Some images centered, some on the left aligned, some centered again, some left aligned. A bit disoriented, but you can, you can work on it. There's a test here, that's good. Another math, Kahenda. Okay, left hand side is full, but right hand side column is empty. So please put some more content, but it's okay, it is good. P is fate, a video, some text, okay. Here five signs, Mr. Hussein. There is a presentation there. Okay, that's good. Some images, nice. Some text, images, text again. 
some big huge images here okay okay it's going down down quite a long page nice work but you can split this into two it will be easier in my opinion history come on some content is needed chemistry are might might see sorry uh, again you can use two columns template you can change the template try changing the template <clears throat> art and design james buru okay good art teachers they have a sense of design which which works here too that's very good it's text and the images placed nicely They're well distributed clear organized thank you for this that's good Math, Juma, Mr. Juma, I think, yes. Probability, that is nice, good. But please don't use images with uh, with um, watermarks on it. There is this shutterstock. Please do not use that kind of images. Otherwise, the rest is ah, even this one. Shutterstock, please don't use that kind of images. You can find ones without uh watermarks <clears throat> swahili there's one here but it's empty computer Venice bay okay nice nice it people are doing good English, B or Wa. Uh, can I have more text on the right hand side as well, please. Left hand side is going down too much. You can just break from somewhere and take it to the right hand side. You have two columns already. It would be better. <clears throat> Mathematics, history, C, Kamal. Okay, we can put some more content, please. Try more things. Somebody is asking how to remove the draft page. It is uh, up there. In the uh, there is that done button. For example, this page I'm editing. When you say here, if you click the save as draft, so it is draft. Uh, but this one is not draft because it's as you can see it's saying it's published when you say there should be a publish button there if it is a draft you will see when you click it it will be published for example let me check this chemistry page although empty but let me try as you can see if it is a draft you having publish button so when i click this it will publish if I save, say, say save draft, it will keep it as a draft. So this is a draft. Mm, where were I? Um, receiving some questions. Uh, D Coco 
how can you use characters to type my questions? Uh, Mr. Patrick, I didn't get that question. Which characters are you referring to? All right, another page. So someone is asking how can we remove our page? Is the same way you are saving as a draft or you are publishing? There's mm -hmm. a one arrow there, just say delete. There's a, you can we see the delete button from there. Let me show here when you say edit page. Up here. Uh, as you can see, there is delete button. When I click this, it's not going to delete it immediately. If I say delete now, this page will go. From same place, right upper corner. All right. The number of pages increasing. Okay, when you look at the taskbar, there is an option for characters. But when I start typing the question, I can't access the characters. Aha, the special characters. If you're referring to that for mathematical symbols and characters. Let me see in one of those blank pages. Okay, when I say edit, now there are these ones. You mean under quizzes, Mr. Patrick, when we create a quiz page. There is this formula, option for mathematics. If you want to write a formula there, you can use this. That option is available matrices square root on the quiz page okay then let me create one and see how that happens i didn't try on here i say create so more templates a class test oops um Special characters. Okay, when I want to add a question. Oops. Okay, you mean here in this page, uh, when you are adding a question, how to add special characters? All right, I think here, I don't think you can add special characters. You can just put the question um, like this. Let's try. I didn't try before. Um, so the question about, uh, should, uh, yeah, okay, let's say this and you're adding adding choices, let's say 34, 45, 56, assuming, let's say this is correct. I added this question here. Now about the question, I can now, I think, I think, uh, where is that formula? Ah, it's here. So now you can write um, a special character thing, maybe five plus, oh, how to go out of that. So it seems we need to play with it a bit.
and it should be somehow here how to go out of square I couldn't find it now but you can write some equations there and make this formula appear here but that looks very small Yeah, we need to work on this. And learn from those people how to make some changes. Okay, font size. Let's make it like this. Like this. Done. Maybe something like that, but it's still not appearing the way it's supposed to be. We take this note and ask those uh, people to learn more about how to use the formula function. Uh, not mathematical ones. I see. So we check how to use uh, special characters and maybe put a video about that. Securing is asking true or false questions cannot display where to tick. How do we go about this? It seems it's giving only one option, but we'll ask that as well. Normally there should be true and false options there, uh, but it seems for now, either we don't know how to do it or they don't have it. We'll find out. One column to two, but the text has not moved to the second one. I think you should copy and paste there uh, manually, it seems so. I think those two columns are not linked to each other, you see. You just copy, cut from the first column, paste it into the other one. So I'm deleting a page, by the way. Yes. All righty. Good, good. Nice, good work for today. We are about to finish our session. Let me check some Mombasa pages quickly as well. Also, oh, many pages. Nice. Very good. Raya, good page. Kimilu uh, can be more organized. Some more text on the right, this is empty, this side, or you can make the video bigger, add more text. Ah, oh, there's a PDF on this page. Nice, this is also well organized, very good. Good. Very good, Mr. Patrick, you found a way to put the special characters. If we allow you to, uh, sh you to share your screen, can you show us, Mr. Patrick? So they, they can unmute themselves, right? Or you blocked it. No, they can unmute. Or Mr. Chasm, you found a way. Maybe you can share your screen. No, I didn't find. Ah, okay. Found. okay, Mr. Patrick, can you share your screen? Okay, I can't share my screen now because uh, I connected through my phone and I'm working on the computer. Ah, yeah, so I have to log in to the computer first. All right, do this then. Uh, open your camera of your phone, hold it to your computer screen, and show us quickly. Mr. Amazon, I can show something. Yes, Mr. Kamil, you can share your screen. 
Okay, you can share my screen now. Mm -hmm. That's my page which I'm working for mathematics. Okay, if I come. Oops, Mr. Tula, what have you done? <laughs> So Mr. Kamal, again, so uh, can we see your page first? It, it looks really nice, yeah. by the way. Thank you very much. Great. It is my working now. Uh -huh. Chapter one, I'm looking for first or negative numbers, something. And when we come to more section here, there is a formula section, as mm -hmm. you see here. Yes. Click on it, it's bringing all the formulas, mathematics, symbols, mm -hmm. everything is here. Mm -hmm. In some matrices, you can write powers, Maybe some parentheses, yeah. even sigma, everything is here. Can even, you put uh, square root? I tried, but I couldn't come out of the square root. Square root is this one. Yes. You can change the uh, degree of the square root, like this way. Yeah, okay, put both. The cubic root, oh, let's say 64. Okay. Done. Can't you just go out of the square root and continue? And it, is, it came here, as you see. It can you, here. Can you add, add yeah. that 64? Uh, after, after adding. Uh -huh. I think, yeah. When okay. I double click on it, it's bringing what I wrote. Good, put plus and and another square root now. 64 plus, no. Uh, now that's the I, challenge. How, how to- yeah, No, no, no. Plus another, ah. maybe cubic root or square root. Let, how, how did you do it? How, how did you come out? from the square root yeah if i mean square root here uh -huh. just i'm i am putting right arrow it's going to next one right ah, arrow just okay right just arrow. right yeah. arrow all right that's great okay i think it's done yeah for math science teachers those special characters can be used that way that's great all right so for a couple of days the you will have the right of editing guys uh for that particular test school dream school you can create pages you can play with your pages you can make better pages uh, i think by friday we can just uh have it open mr Lutula, all right uh let the teachers gain good experience uh as i always say do not be afraid of making mistakes. Don't worry, nobody will judge you of making mistakes. Uh, but if you don't learn these things by schools open, now some people <laughs> or your heads will judge you for that. So you're afraid of uh, the scare of that, but not making mistakes. So try. Uh, when you have a questions, you can email us. Take a screenshot. Sometimes the problem you're explaining is um, not really making sense it's being hard for us to understand sometimes we're not using the same language uh if let me show this thing again how to take screenshots and send to us let's say you're trying to do something and you have a challenge so use this if it is not available there go to windows button uh snip and sketch a very simple tool that I showed several times. I'm showing again, maybe some of you missed. This thing is to take screenshots, say new, take a screenshot. Then you can put some annotations here. For example, I'm having a problem here. This is the error message I'm receiving, whatever it is. Copy this, copy, go to your email. Compose your email, put my email address or Mr. Lutfullah's email address or both of them. Whatever the challenge is about, problem about that, then just paste it here. Control V, that's it, simple. As simple as this. So it will make much easier for us to understand your problem. Another, so, yes. 
Uh, from test students, I just received around uh, 20 tasks. Mm. Maybe they can complete. Yes, please uh, give a task to test student as we showed yesterday. You can watch yesterday's recording. It's on Google Classroom we shared. Even today's recording we will share in an hour's time. It will be there. Uh, these recordings are on my YouTube channel as well. You can reach there. Um, I think that's it for now. Is there any question remaining? Is there a limit to the number of days we get and edit our page? I think I mentioned this by this Friday for this dream school test. Yeah, you can play with it maybe, let's say by Saturday, no worries. Uh, but later on, you will have the edit right for your right space, for your right domain, for your actual subject. When that one comes, now the things are serious there. You need to do a nice, good work, nice, good plan there. You can structure it chapter by chapter under your subject. That's one way of doing it. Or another alternative, you can do it week by week. Term three, week one, week two, week three, together with the dates in the brackets. Let me show that also very quickly. Uh, those are important. For example, when we share your subject with you, um, let me go with that. Um, where was my subjects? All right. Okay, you will see your subjects there. Okay, this is my subject area and I'm creating pages. As I said, you can either do it topic by topic, that's one way, uh, or alternatively, you can do it week by week. Just say, mm, sorry, create page. That is week one. What is it? For May two, um, eight, uh, let's say 10, yes. Students are at and May, for example. So you can create and the work of that week will be here. So it means you're putting the schemes of work there. But the challenge here, it can be a bit challenging for students when they are navigating for a certain topic. Where is that topic? Uh, that can be a challenge. But for some subjects, this can be the way of doing it. For example, for art, Maybe they are not following just one book, uh, one strict schemes of work. They can do it week by week for, for P maybe, uh, for music maybe. Uh, but for the other subjects who are following the book, uh, maybe it's going to be better to go chapter by chapter. Thank you very much. That's the end of our session. Are there some more questions there? How can I activate my Firefly account if I can't reset my password? Still it's Fula, you can help. Um, grace on that. Uh, we can do this. Who has a? I mean, they have a, if in a problem about the creating page, those things. We have e learning yeah. coordinators. They can help. But uh, uh, if there's a user problems directly, they can uh, email to me. Maybe we can write. Let yeah. me write to my email to everyone. Okay, uh, Miss Fatma Muhindi, which school? For your question. Mombasa. Light. Mombasa Light, all right. Light International. All right, all right, all right. So I think we should show, we can show one more time, maybe. Just a second, Mr. Rutula. And now which subject? <laughs> Where is this page? English. English, okay. Lower secondary, most probably. Uh, okay, English lower secondary. Miss Fatma Mohindi asking for a feedback. That's why. All right, there's a PDF here, but it will be good again to use two column template. It will look more neat, a video, nice. Some pictures, if there are relevant pictures, can be added. If I'm looking the uh, right page, 
Ms. Fatma, you can correct me. There are so many pages here. Okay. Our session is over. For those who like to leave, can leave. But some people are asking for feedback. No problem. We can continue a little uh, bit more. Uh, um, this is Shadra. Yes. And I have a question because I have noted that um, the Zoom is still giving us problems, especially the limit. We still have the 40 minutes instead of uh, even one hour or something. How far have you gone in terms of arranging for us to have an extended time? As far as we know, when you log in with the school email address, the limit shouldn't be there. How do you do that now? When you... Uh, Today, I logged, uh, today and yesterday, I've been logging through my uh, school account, the email account, but still it is showing the limit, 40 minutes. Every time it keeps on saying that I need to update. All right. So did you create an account with your school email or you're signing it with school account? There's a difference there. Let me hold on my screen, you can't see. I was using the, the school official email. Okay, now can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Where do you use it? Do you use it here and sign in with Google? Or were you using it here? Up sign in with Google. Sign in the with Google. The second one, sign with Google. All yes. right. So, Mr. Lutfullah, can you look at that one? It should be this way, right, Mr. Lutfullah? When I log in with my school account. Yeah. So, you said yesterday, right? Did you try yesterday, Oja? Yesterday, in the last two, three days? Yeah. Uh, yesterday and today. Yesterday and today. And in fact, I've been using it. It has never been like that. Hmm. So you tried an extended 40 minutes and it's giving you error. It's uh, yeah, in fact, uh, meeting is dropping. Yeah, every time after 40 minutes it goes off, we have to re restart again. All right, let's communicate with Zoom again. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Uh, you can ask Mr. Ramazan, is there anyone in the chat that have used and had no problem or had problem? Yes, I think they heard. And for myself, I have a school account, basic account, so I didn't pay any money. Direct, I'm connecting as a Mr. Ramazan show. So I'm just, I can make how many minutes I want. That's okay, and it's not closing itself. But I will check it. Ali Bakar is saying he used more than one hour, 30 mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So uh, when you're making... Uh, I think it's like this. Uh, when we are entering the call, it is still writing 40 minutes. But once the 40 minutes are completing, they are upgrading it up themselves. For example, today when me and Mr. Ali were having the Zoom meeting, uh, it was writing 40 minutes in the start. But when 40 minutes completed, it gave a message that your meeting has, has been upgraded to unlimited minutes. But mm. I don't know if it's for limited time or